In this lesson, we're going to work with audio. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is, here's my clips that I'm working with, <clears throat> and I want to see the audio for them. So I'm going to push this button right here. It looks like little squigglies, and it's going to reveal the audio underneath. Okay, so by moving these lines here, I can quickly adjust the audio up and down. So if I want to take the audio, here's my audio. If I want to take the audio completely out of the clip, I slump, simply drag this line all the way down to the bottom. See, and now I play the clip. There's no audio. If I want to bring it back, just drag that line back up to a good level here. <laughs> and there it is. Um, <clears throat> once you hit these little yellow peaks here, your audio's gotten a little too hot. So if I just want to select a section to take it down, like this section here where I laugh, because I'm near the computer or near the camera and it sounds really loud, I just click and see now it's created this little box for me and I can pull down the audio just in that little box so it'll sound better. So I push play and that's a much better level of audio. Okay, <clears throat> now another thing that you can do, I'm going to click this so you can't see it for a second, is you can add different sound effects or uh, jingles or whatnot. And you do that by clicking here and clicking on the music icon and up comes all the different music aspects you can use. Um, there's iTunes here. And anything that's in iTunes you can use. However, I don't recommend it unless you own a copyright to it. Um, but you are allowed to use these uh, free uh, iLife and iMovie sound effects. So um, they've got some really great fun stuff, you know. Whatever you think you may need. Um, but the thing you're probably going to be most interested in is uh, jingles. So there's lots of little jingles here that can uh, that you can add to your uh, clips to make them a little bit more professional. So you can just scroll through them and listen to them. And I used this acoustic sunrise. In order to uh, put this on here, um, you can just drag it. Oh, did I get it? Drag it up here, and uh, the green section is where it's going to be. So if I just drop it, it'll play the whole thing all the way through like that. Okay, so if I want to undo that, say I don't like that, undo add music. I just want it to start right here, let's say. I take it and I put it right here where it's going to start right when that red line is. And you can see here it is down here, it's just going to start right there. So that gives you a little bit more control over where your um, audio is. Okay, um, the other couple things that you can do, I'm going to remove this is um, you can reduce the background noise. Now this is definitely something that will be important here um, for me because I shot outside and there's a lot of background noise because of the wind. So here's the same shot twice, two times in a row. Right here, you hear that background noise, the wind, and here it is again. Okay, so in this clip I'm gonna click the blue icon here click the down and go to audio adjustments. In audio adjustments I'm going to click enhance reduce background noise by and I'm going to go all the way up to 50 percent. 
then I'm going to click done. Okay, so let's see if we can hear the difference. So you can hear that wind. A lot less pronounced that time. So that's a great tool <clears throat> for when you're shooting outside or even inside with background noise. Okay, another tool that you might want to use um, is to add a voiceover. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click this little microphone here. And it says to record, click a clip where you want the voiceover to begin. And you can see here that it's registering my voice. I want the voiceover to begin right, let's say right here. So I'm going to click that and it's going to count me down. Then I say blah, 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 whatever I want to say. And then when I'm finished, I push the space bar. Now you can see this purple right here is my clip. Um, when I'm finished, I'll just X out this right here, takes me back, and now I can preview it. Then I say blah, 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 whatever I want to say, and then when I'm finished, I push the space bar. Okay, now let's say uh, I've done my voiceover recording, but I've still got the audio in the background from my clips, and I don't want those. I click my little squiggly again here. See, here's my audio down here, and I don't want that, so I'll just take it down, take it out, so that all I hear now is um, the voiceover, and I no longer hear the audio from the clips. They say blah, 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 whatever I want to Okay. And so that's basic sound editing right there. Again, um, all of your adjustments are pretty much going to be in here in audio adjustments. And you can do fade in and fade out, uh, ducking, etc. Those are, of course, a little bit more advanced. Um, if that's something you think you might want to do, um, you can Google advanced iMovie audio editing, and there'll be lots of great YouTube videos for that.